When it comes to your credit report, do you really need a credit card? And if you have one, when's the best time to pay it during the month to make your credit score even better? There are a lot of myths about credit cards that could be affecting your credit score. So joining us to talk about this is credit repair expert Chris Wisniewski with Select U.S. Credit Coaching Program. Good morning to you, Chris. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. I'm doing great. Hope you're doing well. As I was going through your information, I thought, oh, there's some really interesting things here I don't think people are aware of. So let's talk about credit card myths. And let's start with what you call, I guess, myth number one. And that is a lot of people say, oh, I've got this credit limit. I am going to use my full limit. Why is that a bad idea? Well, it's a bad idea because it actually hurts your credit score. So technically you can use, so let's say you have a thousand dollar credit limit. You can use a thousand dollars, but when it comes to your credit score, that can actually plummet your score 50 to hundred points. Wow. That's a huge drop. It, it, yeah, it is. And a lot of people don't realize how big it is. Now, on the other side of that, if you have, let's say you have a credit card limit of $1,000 and you use, say, under 20%, okay, mm -hmm. uh, you don't use more than $200 of that, that can actually jump your score 50 to 100 points. So it's really a big swing. Mm -hmm. so, so pay attention to how much of that you're using and try never to use the full limit. Okay, let's talk about myth number 100%. two. And that is okay. paying off my credit cards every week. Will that boost my scores? No, will not. So you hear a lot on social media uh, and YouTube about how you should pay your credit cards every week or every day after a purchase and that will jump your score. What happens is the creditor only reports your balance once a month to okay. uh, the credit bureaus. So what you should do is find out when your creditor is going to report that everyone's different so let's say they're going to report it on the 17th of the month by maybe the 12th or the 14th you should pay that balance down really low and then this way let it update let the credit bureaus update that so this way it doesn't drop your score wow that is really interesting so do you just reach out to the credit card companies uh, at email or whatever and say hey when do you guys uh, you check just, it yeah you could just call them and say you know the two things that i always say to consumers is one you should know when you're uh, due, okay? When that mm -hmm. credit card's due. Second, you should know when they report to the credit bureaus. And you could just ask them that question and they'll be able to give that to you. Okay, very good. Okay, myth number three. Yes. If I pay an old collection account, it will increase my credit score. True or false? This is a myth. And, and to be honest with you, after 30 years in the industry, it's still so confusing. And it hurts consumers because what happens is a consumer will turn around and do say a couple good things and increase their score by 40 points on their own. Mm -hmm. And then they'll see something like, let's say they have a collection from 2016 for only a couple hundred bucks. They say, you know what, I'm doing a great job. Let me pay this off. They pay it off. It gets updated to a paid collection in 2022 and that drops their score. And that could actually drop your score up to a hundred points. But let's just say it drops at 80 points and you did a couple good things that move it 40 this dropped you 80. So at the end of the day, you did all this stuff and you're 40 points in the hole. Oh, I'm so confused by this. So what's your advice then? <laughs> yeah, so if, if it's a new collection, say you're getting a new collection, it's not on your credit report, obviously address it, okay? Pay it before it hits the credit bureau. Okay, got now, it. Now, if it's on your report, it's been sitting there for a while, most likely the damage has been done Okay, and it's the effect is actually coming off of that. So if you pay it, it could actually hurt it more. I always say leave it alone. Okay. Finally, as far as one single tip that you could leave our viewers with today, if they didn't hear anything else you had to say when it came to credit cards and debt, what would that be? Uh, don't give up. Uh, you know, if you have bad credit, everybody goes through it. It's just, you know, one step at a time, stay confident with it, and uh, you'll get back to where you need to be. There's actually another question I wanted to ask you. What about people who don't have a credit card, but actually want one and they, and they can't get one? What advice do you have for them? You should try. I think Capital One has a great unsecured uh, credit card. Uh, there's a couple other ones there. The fees are a little bit high. What a lot of people don't understand is to move your credit score, you need that revolving. Uh, you need that credit card. Okay, Chris Wozniewski, a credit card repair expert. Thanks so much for joining me. What's the website people should Thank go to to get me. more information? You could go to selectusllc.com. Okay, very good. Interesting conversation. You have a great day. Yes, you do the same. Thank you.